Hey, Revolt, it's Umrit. Now, you've probably seen Nia and Rena Loveless pop up around here from time to time to introduce you to the coolest music videos. Well, now it's time for us to introduce you to their band. They're called Cherry Bomb, and I got a chance to sit down with Nia and Rena, as well as their bandmates Miranda and Casey at the Loveless home in Los Angeles. It doubles as their studio and a pet cemetery. Trust me, it'll all make sense. is Cherry Bomb. A clash of personalities, just like a bunch of personalities. An explosion of personality you music. You did that? <laughs> we have messages we want to get across to people mm -hmm. as a band through our music and through talking to our fans and through our shows. We want to be a point of connection for people to realize that they're not alone. So Nia, Rena, Loveless sisters, what's it like to be in a band and also be living together? It's a good thing. We, uh, we kind of have this telepathy between us um, as sisters, so we don't really need to talk about stuff. We kind of just look at each other. We have a good dynamic together. We understand how to like not step on each other's toes, but also like get stuff out of each other. You have a really amazing mantle place. We call it the Mantle of Memories. So this is pretty much our indoor cemetery on this mantle here. We have uh, our old cat, Looney, and our uh, old dog, Hank, used to bite out her limbs. She didn't come like this. She was a very nice cat. She was a good cat. Here is our snake. Uh, her name was Uraeus. We love them so much. Like it's kind of cool to just have them here. Them. What was sort of the inspiration to hold on to some of your uh, your your, uh, your loved ones? Yeah, definitely our parents. Like they started that way before we were even alive. So it was just one of those things that we kind of grew into, and we're like, hey, mom, like. I really love this pet, can we keep it? <laughs> so Nia and Rena, you have such eclectic parents with such amazing taste and they're obviously so supportive. What kind of role has that played as you've kind of come about into your artistic lives? They've definitely inspired us, like because they're musicians and stuff. Um, that's kind of what got us into it is we'd be hearing music around the house all the time and we're like, this is kind of what, like this, like I feel this, like I want to do that too. This one's called Bean Freaks. One, two, one, two, three, four. You've been playing a lot acoustic lately, is that right? Yeah, definitely. But you're, but the sound is going to be something like more electric in yeah. general. It definitely would be, but I like the fact that we're kind of breaking it down, like kind of get getting back to our roots and and starting with the basics. Well, we're yeah. definitely going to be like yeah. recording a lot of electric stuff, but then we'll also have acoustic versions that we just think right. like these got to stay acoustic, like it's yeah. just the feel of them. So we heard uh, Bean Freaks. So you have Stark EP and this is the Under Control LP. Sounds like things are changing a bit though. So talk about where you've been and kind of like where you're going now. I think the whole the whole journey that we've taken so far is just leading us to finding what we want to sound like as a band because we're learning who we are as we get older. We're learning how we mold as a group. Yeah, so how would you describe your genre to someone who had never heard you before? We've been trying so many different songs and sometimes it'll be a little bit darker and other times it'll be really really pop yeah. so we go kind of all over the spectrum but still in the genre of pop rock How are you connecting with fans? Is it through your social media, do you feel? Yeah. Oh, a that's lot a on huge Twitter. part. We're on Tumblr, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reverb Nation. Keep like. going, keep going. <laughs> You've done more at a young age than a lot of people ever really get to do. So what's like the best lesson you've learned so far? Wear earplugs. Wear earplugs. <laughs> Save um, per diem on tour. And you can't go food. number two on a bus. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks to Cherry Bomb for taking the time to spend with us. We look forward to playing your music videos right here. That's all for now. Stay in tune. You are watching Revolt.